Ray, why shouldn't we bomb Syria? Well, I think bombing Syria would be following the same ill-fated path that we've taken on other uh, conflicts around the world. And we don't need to get our people involved in uh, a, a conflict that we don't know that much about. Uh, understandably, there's been some terrible things happen there. And understandably, the world uh, should keep, keep an eye and, and, and keep Syria in line. But it doesn't have to be a U.S. project. Okay. Thank you. Richard, why should we stay out of the Syrian conflict right now? Well, for one, we, we, I know the president said no boots on the ground, but eventually I think we will because uh, Al-Qaeda or Syrians, uh, freedom fighters, they're going to get together and eventually kill more people. And I don't think we even have real proof about chemical weapons over there, but we have problems in our own country that we're not taking care of. You know, let that country defend itself or whatever, but right now I am really upset because this government is going and fighting everybody else's war and you got young people that's losing their lives for nothing and we got problems, we got a war right here, we got Al-Qaeda, we got Taliban right here in this country just waiting until our, our, our forces are real thin then they attack. You know, we need to strengthen our defense here and build more jobs and take care of our veterans and our young men that's losing their life and, and let them solve their own problems. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Hey, Joe, tell us why you think that we should or shouldn't get involved in the Syrian war. Well, I think we really need to stay out of Syria um, until we have more information. We just don't know enough yet. Um, what I have heard is that striking Syria right now would actually help um, the Al-Qaeda work there. And we would, in fact, be acting as Al-Qaeda's air force. So, you know, I want some, some more information about that before we do anything. Also, um, in any war, who benefits is the bankers and the people that are financing it. And everyone else, all soldiers and everyone supporting it are just a tool of the bankers and they don't care who lives and who dies. They just want to make money. Okay. Sean, why shouldn't we get involved in the Syrian conflict? Well, I think it's a United Nations thing that we need to get involved in. And if the United Nations collectively wants to do something, I'm all for diplomacy first. War should always be the very, very, very last resort that we should uh, stop to do. Think about it before we go in killing people. Uh, number two is all we heard in the last war was about supporting the troops. That never happened. We sent people to war without the proper equipment. They got injured and killed. And now we have veterans lining up at the Veterans Administrations for months at a time before they can get any kind of uh, sufficient help for their uh, wounds and for their uh, mental problems. We still have Vietnam veterans that are living on the streets, homeless, without, never had jobs. Veterans now, we have no jobs. So uh, no, it's just a bad idea all around. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.